mesdames et messieurs, voici venu le moment d'accueillir votre nouvel entraîneur. So, we are back with another career mode, this time with Frank Lampard in Bordeaux, France, League 2. And uh, yeah, the goal is to put Bordeaux back in the French highlights, you could say. We all know the struggle they had, and we believe that Frank Lampard is the guy for the team. It's a new adventure for him, leaving England for France. So, let's talk about the goals. Uh, the goal for season is to just uh, learn about the team and build up for the future. It's a very young squad we have, so let's take a look at it. We want to play a 4 3 3 system. Four in defense, three in the middle, one defensive midfielder, two wings, and one striker. So that is the way we're gonna play with Bordeaux. Goalkeeper Fosin is gonna be our first pick in the goal, and Strasser is gonna be our backup for this team. Much the same, Rayard is the third, he probably will not play at all. On the left back, we are, have our veteran and Simba from Congo. Uh, first pick and we have the young Ekomi who we believe could be a long-term defender. And Gregorian on the center back shows that our center backs are quite old. <laughs> he and Barbet are the first pick but not for the future because we have a player like Junior and Vanga who we believe could be something for us in the future. We have a good backup in uh, Atala but I feel we're a little bit missing some pieces there. Uh, on the right side we have Michelin on the loan, not a future defender for us, uh, but we have Johan Eko, a young right back who will be lazy. And we also have Bokele. We have two very interesting defensive midfielder in Sissoko and Lacoste. Uh, two young ones who we believe could be one of them. Yeah, we also have our veteran who probably will be our captain, Ignatenko in the center with, with young Piringuel, which maybe not is the future for us. And same for Depose, you could say. We have the Lima, gonna be a reserve, it's not good enough for us. But we have Bakva, a player we really believe in the future. And we have a good backup in David Chile uh, on the left side. So the left side looks good. On the right side, we have interesting Delarian Chabet. Uh, but Rocro, who is our backup for there, doesn't impress me much. And because we are gonna play with one striker, I think here is something we could sell. Like Maya, Baggi, they could go. I believe that for the future. And Vetro, I don't think he's good enough for us. And uh, yeah, is Ellis the one we wanna keep? Or cash in?
So our first signing is done in the midfield, our young Felix Lemarechal from Monaco. Uh, something we really needed to get to the team. Even if he's young, he's gonna get a lot of chances this season to prove his talent. The months of preparation are finally over. Both sets of fans full of optimism as they look ahead to the new season. But who will come out on top today? Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Bordeaux, and they face Paris FC. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek, and so are these fans. They fully expect their team to be promoted this season, and I have to say, I can't argue with them. Well, I'm sure his heart is beating extra quickly because it's his debut game today. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, he can do everything a central midfield player needs to do. He can pass it, he can wriggle out of tight situations, and he can defend. Let's hope we see those qualities today. Well, this is how Bordeaux will line up. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Can they exploit the space out wide? Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Can he find the right pass? Chances on. In it goes! He scored on his debut, and his fans are loving that. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Ellis. This might be ideal for the counter. And he's made headway. 
Going for the dink. Oh, and that is an audacious chip. Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And just look at the finish. That's a brilliant piece of skill and vision to chip the goalkeeper from there. What a great goal. They're back in this now with 84 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. He just needs to keep a cool head. Still a chance. In it goes! Second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, it was always going to be a tough match, but in the end, they just had that bit more quality. It's a great result for them. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for? know how good Paris are but hey I take a 4 nothing victory any day uh, so yeah great start so uh, let's see if this team is really this good or was it just a lucky 